Being here for OG Fitness, a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for uh, the older guy, the, the busier guy. So today, um, the question is, what is the best martial art? And I got, I got an answer for you. There is none. There is none, really. And the reason why I, I say that is because when I look at martial arts, I see it now as a skill set, okay, or a tool. And so the more tools you have, okay, the more chances of success you have, regardless of the context. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you say, what's the best martial art? Well, you, you know, like, the, you could ask the question, well, are, you, are we talking about for self-defense? Are we talking about uh, fighting in a cage, you know, or on a battlefield or whatever, in a bar, you know? Well, okay, that falls into self-defense too. But let's say self-defense and in a cage. Well, in a cage, we already know. The, the more rounded fighter, the more complete fighter uh, who's able to adapt and use the appropriate skill set at the appropriate moment is, you know, usually tends to be the guy that has the advantage and most likely is going to win, right? And um, in self-defense, well, since on the street you never know what's going to happen, then the more tools you have, the more chances you have of uh, getting out of it uh, with the least amount of damage, you know? So what is the best martial art? It's, it's really the wrong question to ask. I think a better question is what, 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 what is a complete fighter? I think that's a better question. Like, what makes a, a complete fighter? Now, if you really think about that for a second, and with all we know now, with everything that's been going on in the UFC since it started, up until this day, we know that you need to know how to strike. So you need to know how to fight standing up. So punching and kicking, right? That's, that's stand-up. And, and clinch work too, okay? And then after that, you need how to work. Um, you know how you have to know how to take down somebody, okay? So takedowns. Well, you have judo, you have wrestling that that really specialize in takedowns. And then from there, when you get to the ground, well, you know you have to know how to well submit the guy, right? So you have to have an understanding of Brazilian jiu-jitsu or and position. So if you're not um, you don't want to submit the guy necessarily, but you just want to uh, control him and get into better positions where uh, you have very good control and you can punch him to death or, or choke him out or whatnot. So those are, those are the main things. So to be a complete fighter, you have to know how to strike. You have to know how to take fuckers down. And you have to, when you get to the ground, you have to know how to submit them or at least control them, okay? And then uh, beat them down. To get the to get the win or to to uh, to effectively defend yourself, so it's that's really the the better answer. There is no best martial art. I mean, in every martial art, I mean they, they specialize. Uh, it's it's a very specific tool skill set that they have that they de that they've developed. For example, Taekwondo, beautiful kicks, right? Beautiful kicks very strong, very fast, very effective. Problem is they don't, you know, they don't practice any punching. So like you just punch the guy and that's it. He's fucking dead. Uh, in boxing, well, all they do is punch, right? So they're very easily, easily, if that's all you do and that's, that's, that's where your knowledge pretty much uh, stops, then you could be taken down easily or you can get leg kicked to death easily, okay? And um, let's say for example, if you're a guy who, um, all he does is uh, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Okay, but you have to be able to take the guy down to the ground. Now, if you're not able to, and let's say the guy was a really good uh, striker, right? Whether it be boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, he could knock you the fuck out before you ever get to the ground. You see what I mean? So, that's it, guys, um, for this video. I... Hope that was a little bit helpful. If you have any comments uh, or questions, then just post them down below and I'll be happy to, uh, to answer them in another video or in the comments, okay? So 
that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, click on the notification button so that you get the next video. And that's it. Peace.